Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Friday! It's Friday so that means it's another weigh in day. I'll be sharing with you how my week went, my struggles, my victories. I'll also be sharing the WW workshop topic and of course this week's weigh in. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up and don't forget if you're new or you're not yet subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. We do these weigh-in videos every single Friday so you definitely don't want to miss out. Check out the description box down below where you're going to find my nutrition coaching. I offer personalized macro and calorie calculation essential for losing weight and maintaining your weight. You have to know how many calories you should be eating every day in order to lose and maintain your weight. So let me figure that out for you and set you off on the right foot. If you're looking for a little bit more one-on-one -on -one support. I do offer 30 and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. Just you and I, we can talk about anything that you would like and I can set you up with some successful goals moving into the next week or month. So definitely check that out down in the description box. Links, discount codes to all of my very favorite things as well as my Facebook group are also in that description box. So check that out. So let's jump into this week's workshop topic, weigh in and kind of how this week went. So first, let's talk about my week. I had a good week with the exception, and you already know what I'm going to say, of my least favorite time of the month coming my way. That happened on Saturday, which put a little bit of a dent into my weekend. It's okay. I was able to do pretty well considering. I got in all three days of Jazzercise, which is amazing, and of course, took my walk on Thursday as always. I'm definitely enjoying that outside walk every single week. And like I said, it may be something I'll continue into April. I'll keep you guys in the loop on that. I did find myself very, very hungry leading up to my cycle, which is very, very normal. And then generally once my cycle starts, I'm not as hungry anymore. It's very, very bizarre. But come Tuesday and Wednesday, I just really wasn't feeling very good feeling kind of crampy and bloated again, which is a normal part of my cycle, but it just really puts a damper on my day when I'm not feeling very well. Not to mention Tuesday is a jazzercise day, so that's never fun not feeling well and having to do jazzercise, but I push through because it's so important for me to get in my three days a week. Like I said, I found myself a little bit more snacky, which means that I was a little bit more snacky leading up to my cycle. So I had a couple of pretty high calorie days this week as well, but I wouldn't say that the whole week was ruined but there definitely were some higher calorie days, which is something that I generally try to avoid. But besides my cycle starting, I felt like I had a really good week. I got a lot done. We are gearing up to pick up our puppy here in just a couple of weeks. I've been posting pictures and updates in my Facebook group. So if you're not in my Facebook group, definitely head over and join us. I also update pretty regularly on Instagram. I'd love to have you follow me there as well, but we are very excited. I picked up a dog bed, a container for his food, and some dog dishes and we'll be going this weekend to get a name tag as well as some type of playpen or something for him to sleep in at night until he's fully potty trained. But we're very excited. We know it's going to be a lot of work, but we can't wait to add Palmer to our family. Speaking of getting new puppies and the chance that there's going to be a lack of sleep, let's jump into this week's workshop topic, how to set up a bedtime that actually works. It is important to have a plan when we're getting ready for bed, a plan to make sure that we get into bed on time to get enough sleep so that we can be the most effective we can the following day. So it's important to set up that bedtime plan. There's two parts that make up a bedtime routine or a bedtime plan. First, what you need to do plus one to two calming activities equals your bedtime routine or your bedtime plan. So here's a few things that fall into things that you need to do to get ready for bed. Wash your face, brush your teeth, prep for tomorrow, and tidy up. Maybe tidy up your space, tidy up your bed if you didn't make it in the morning. But these are four examples of things to set yourself up to get ready for bed. Four ideas of some calming activities that you can do is journaling, gentle stretching, reading, and meditating. By putting together what you need to do, plus these one to two calming activities, will automatically set you up with a successful bedtime routine. Did you know that March 19th is World Sleep Day? And in honor of that, WW has set up what is called a sleep 
hub. I will make sure that I link that down below for you. You can also find the link on the Weight Watchers page under this week's weekly technique. It has the latest information to help you get in your Z's, so it goes hand in hand with this week's workshop topic. And as we all know, when we don't get enough sleep, we aren't reaching for the broccoli. We're reaching for those high energy carbohydrate, sugary foods to give us the energy that we're missing from lack of sleep. So sleep is absolutely essential to healthy weight loss. I do have to say that I've been doing really good getting my sleep. Since I started taking my personalized probiotics from Thrive, my sleep has never been better. Not to mention my gut health has never been better. Thrive is always linked down in my description box. I'll pop it up to the top for you guys. This is a personalized gut health test. It is 50 percent off right now. So if you're interested in checking your gut health, which I highly recommend everybody does this, both myself and my husband have done this. We've both been taking our probiotics. I have never seen more results than taking the personalized to me probiotics that were resulted from my gut health test. Like I said, my sleep has really never been better. I haven't actually ever felt better and my weight loss has never been better. So again, I'll make sure Thrive is linked down below and I'll put it to the top of the description box. So speaking of weight loss, let's talk about this week's weigh-in. Despite being on my cycle, when I stepped on the scale today, I'm down point six. And that's great because I am in the middle of my cycle, which generally results in weight gain or maintenance for me. So the fact that I was still able to knock 0.6 off this week makes me extremely happy. I attribute that to getting in the extra movement, taking my probiotics, and overall at the end of the week still being in a calorie deficit, even though I had a couple higher point, higher calorie days. And that's something that you need to remember. You can still have those higher point, higher calorie days, if at the end of the week you still are in a deficit, you're still going to lose weight. And the proof is in this week's weigh-in for me. So I couldn't be happier. Moving into next week, it is the final week before we pick up Palmer. So I did schedule three Jazzercise classes. They're just going to be random days because we're actually heading to Ontario, Oregon to pick him up on Friday of next week. And the breeder will meet us on Saturday to deliver him to us. So I had to pop in Jazzercise in the first part of the week. And I'm still planning on getting in my walk. No fear, I'm taking you guys with me to pick him up. I'm going to vlog the entire thing. So stay tuned for that in an upcoming video. So now I want to hear from you guys. How was your week? How are things going for you? Are you getting in your movement? How are you feeling about these tips and tricks for sleep? And are you going to do the gut health test? Highly, highly recommend. So leave all of that down in the comments. I can't wait to hear from you. So if you enjoyed another weigh in video, give this one a big, huge thumbs up. And don't forget to make sure you're subscribed. I'd absolutely love to have you here on my channel. It's a pretty fun place to be. And I do these weigh ins every single Friday. So you definitely don't want to miss out. Check out that description box for the link to the WW Sleep Hub as well as the Thrive Gut Health Test. Again, it is 50% off right now. So take advantage of that discount while it's still in place. You'll also find my nutrition coaching website and of course other links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. So come on over and join us there as well. Happy Friday, my friends, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's grocery haul.